Hello, today we'll be walking you through how to create a keyword. A keyword is a word or short phrase that new subscribers can text to opt into your messages. To create a keyword, select Sign Ups on the navigation bar on the left hand side, then select Keyword Signups. Within this section, you will select Create Keyword on the upper right hand corner of the page. First, we will fill out the keyword field. This will be a word or phrase that you would like new subscribers to text to opt in. A keyword must be four characters in length, is alphanumeric, and is not case sensitive. Please note that your keyword must adhere to our terms of use and may not include anything that could be considered offensive. The description field is an optional field for your use only. There are two different opt in methods double opt in and single opt in. Double opt-in, after a keyword is text, customers are required to reply yes or no to confirm notification opt-in. Single opt-in, after a keyword is text, customers are opted in to receive communication. If you would like to use single opt-in, select no in the drop-down menu, and if you would like to use double opt-in, select yes. Now, we can select which distribution list we would like to add these new subscribers to. To do this, select the plus icon and select or create a new list. In this case, we will select an already existing distribution list by selecting the checkbox next to the list name. Click OK. Type in the age restriction. The minimum age for texting is 13. However, if your target audience is older than that, feel free to enter it here. Select an organization name by selecting the drop down menu associated with the organization name field. The organization name you select here will appear in your auto response. There are three different auto response frequencies every time, one time per mobile number, and for a custom frequency, you can select only once every and select your frequency to daily, weekly, or monthly. To create the message the new subscriber will receive when they opt in, select the button that says Create Auto Response. Now, just type in the message in the text box that says Please Enter Text Message and click Save when you are done. You can add an alternate auto response. This will be a message that is received by contacts that have already texted in your keyword. When this is enabled, the first time a subscriber texts in your keyword, they will receive the auto response. Every time afterwards, they will receive the alternate auto response. If you would like to capture some data from new contacts, such as their first name, you can check the box next to Data Capture. In the drop down, select the data you would like to capture. Note that your auto response will update to now include a prompt for contacts to provide their first name and a message after their first name has been received. Check the box to agree to the terms of use and select Create. After you have created your keyword, you will notice the status of the keyword is pending. If the keyword is pending, this means that the keyword and your autoresponse is being reviewed to make sure that it does not contain any prohibited content. Please allow some time for this status to update. You can check the status by refreshing or coming back at a later time. Once your keyword has a status of active, this means that it is live and people may text this keyword. If it is denied, you will need to delete and recreate the keyword. And that is how you create a keyword. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.